Japanese yen continues its roller coaster ride, jumping to nearly its highest levels of the year against the U.S. dollar. Yeah, this rebound comes after a dramatic drop yesterday. Paul Drews reports these wild fluctuations in the yen cut into the spending of Japanese visitors while they are here. Strip steak workers get everything ready for a busy night long before the doors even open, making sure ingredients for poopoos are prepared and steaks are ready to be grilled up. Before the pandemic, more than 50% of customers who would come to this Waikiki restaurant were Japanese visitors. Now, that percentage is less than 20. Started to pick up back up at the beginning of this year, January, February, we saw a nice increase. Uh, slowly start, started to kind of drop off as the yen kind of uh, weakened a little bit. Overall, visitor numbers are down from major markets, with around 7% decrease in U.S.-Canadian visitors for the year. European tourists have dropped 5 percent, and those from Oceania nearly 15 percent. But, but Japanese visitors have been a bright spot for tourism, increasing more than 50 percent since last year. That means an additional 112,000 tourists from Japan here this year. We're seeing a lot of Japanese visitors right now. It's not nearly as much as it used to be pre-pandemic, but it's gone up a lot since like the deep days of you know, 2021, 2022. Um, it's grown a little more steady since then. While there are more visitors from Japan, their spending habits have changed during their time here. We've seen a little bit of reduction in the luxury items, you know, starting with a half bottle of champagne for a couple or a bottle of wine for the table. Uh, you know, kind of now we're looking at more cocktail per person or beer per person. Uh, definitely a little bit more sh sharing going on. Berman says that's why their family style menu items remain popular. And with more visitors regulating spending, he also keeps an eye on the yen, especially during its wild rides up and down. But it is something we pay attention to. Um, you know, it does affect the way people spend. A few Japanese visitors I spoke with but didn't want to go on camera because their English wasn't all that great and my Japanese is non-existent said when the yen is stronger, they are able to spend more while they're here. And when it's down, they limit their spending. Japanese visitors aren't the only ones closely tracking the value of the yen against the U.S. dollar. So we get a lot of a lot of Japanese people are bringing their yen, they're changing it back to dollars. Um, those tend to be a lot smaller transactions. Uh, we see a lot of locals though right now that are looking to get, you know, because the yen is cheap right now, um, even still after the big drop in the last couple days, um, it's really cheap. So a lot of locals are looking to get stuff going out um, and they're coming and they're bringing a lot of money and changing a lot of stuff. In Waikiki, Paul Drews, Island News.